Hey everybody, it's Liz Brent. I am so excited to see y'all here on this happy, happy Sunday. As you pop on, go ahead and say, hey, so I know who's here um, and where you joining me from. I'm on here today with an exciting unboxing. So I received some supplies from Deco Art, the basically art supply company, and I'm extra, extra excited to share it. So this is not a true unboxing, according to my fiance, because technically I opened the box already. However, I haven't used everything yet. Um, I literally just got it a couple days ago, but I was super, super excited to share it and see what I got. So I didn't wait to actually open it in front of y'all. So I'm sorry for that. But um, I am excited to show you why I opened it and what were some things that I used. But this big old box, let's see if I can hold it up because I know my little banner on the screen is covering stuff. This big old box I got from Deco Art, and I'm a Deco Art maker, so they sent me these things that I can use and review. So I'm super excited. I didn't kind of made it, y'all. Hey, Tanisha. Hey, Angelica. All right, so here's what I got. Okay, so first, well, this one's already out. Okay, so they sent me this uh, Americana brand premium acrylic, premium acrylic paint in the color True Red. So this is a big old nice bottle. So these are, uh, like I said, premium acrylic paints. These are really good for painting on like wood. You can paint on canvas with them. They do dry quick, which most acrylics do. Um, but they're good for like crafts and also canvas paintings. And then, so I got a bunch of colors, basically. I've also got blue chiffon. Um, I've got some bright orange so a lot of people like these acrylics because they come in a wide range of colors so you don't necessarily have to mix up your own colors you can just buy a whole you know different range of them i've also got brilliant purple so these i'm super excited hey dad glad to see you on here um so these acrylics I actually really like to use for my paint parties because that way instead of people having to mix up a bunch of stuff i could just have all these pretty colors I've also got some banana cream. I've got, well, this one already had uh, titanium white. I've got peach punch. Oh, this is neon. Ooh, so this one is fluorescent acrylics, neon lights. Let me see if I can hold that a little closer. Oh, my nails broke. So this I'm excited to use because you basically paint your picture, but when you use this color on it, it should like glow in the dark like a neon color so if you use like neon uh lights or sometimes like black lights it should show up really nice i think it might have been one more that was like that i gotta double check um those colors sound delicious don't they tanisha some pretty sounding colors and that's something deco art is known for they're known for all these pretty sounding colors and just pretty looking colors so bleach sand so this one it's kind of like an off-white, slightly cream color. And then, okay, here's another one. Black light neon. Okay, so the other one, this is specifically for neon lights. If you got some neon lights like at a party, glow in a dark type of thing, you can use that. The black light is for black light. So if you can have a black light party, and this is black light neon pink, I'm excited to try that out. I got to get me a couple of little black lights. I've been seeing a lot of people, they get them off of Amazon. And you could just have them around the room at a party. I got a giant bright orange. Nice bright orange. So this is all going to definitely come into play when I have my next in-person paint party. This one, I've never used something like this. It says vintage effect wash, color wash paint. And so this is basically just supposed to give it a vintage effect. So this is something I'm probably going to use on like this uh, ceramic truck. I'm going to show you all in a little bit. But I'm going to see how this is. So it's supposed to give it that old vintage look. So I've never really used a wash. This one I'm excited about. Uh, Dazzling Metallics by Deco Art, And it's the Crystal Green. So like this one, they got some really nice metallic colors. So this green is going to be especially pretty for Christmas stuff. And then I've got Bahama Blue. See, I told y'all I broke a nail. Bahama Blue. I've got, I got two bottles of two different uh, holographic glitter paints. So the first one is Crystal Ball and then Magic Gold. So these are two different holographic, holographic, I can't talk, illusions paints. And basically they're just like 
paint with glitter in them, but it's like, instead of having to mix it with another color, it's just like, you know, gold and silver and you put it on top of paint that's already dry and it's really sparkly. So I did that for my last in-person paint party and it was really, really pretty, like hunks and chunks of glitter in it. And then I've got True Blue. I use this color a lot. So I got a giant one. The Americana. So all these are the Americana ones. And then this, I didn't realize what this was. Um, okay, so it's an ultra fine writer tip. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like in a package. Okay, so basically what this says on here, so it's clear. Yeah, so Tanisha with the um, holographic illusions, it's clear. So they're basically clear, but they have color glitter in it. So one has gold glitter and the other has silver glitter. Good question. And you would just let the paint dry first and then you would put that on top of it. Um, but this thing says it creates fine lines in all your craft projects and it fits on the two ounce acrylic bottles. I'm, I'm going to try that out in just a second. And it says you take your doodling and word art to the next level with this easy to use applicator. So like instead of getting like the squeeze bottles of paints or super thin paint pens, you can basically turn your paint into a pen. Uh, so you just hold the tip slightly. Okay, so look, let me, let's try this out together, y'all. So basically it says, so I'm opening it here first. And hello, any other art companies who want me to show stuff or review stuff, feel free to send me things for free. But shout out to Deco Art. I love Deco Art. Okay. So here's the thing. I just opened it. And it said we should be able to put it on some paint. Let me grab one that's open already. All right. So it says it should fit all the two ounce. I definitely just poked myself, but it's not sharp. I'm good. It should fit all two ounce bottles. Oh, snap. It, wait, hold on. Okay, there we go. And it fits. My light is super bright. Let me do that. So basically, I could just squeeze this out. I'm going to do this. Y'all see that little drop come out? That's nice. Nice. So you could do, oh, this would be perfect for like dots. Because sometimes, you know, it's hard to make a nice dot on the paper. You might use like the back of the paintbrush or like really steady. So this is really going to come in handy. Okay. So let's see. I'm going to put the cap back. Because I don't want this paint to dry out. So let me take this off. Nice. And I'm going to rinse that out. Okay. And then let me find my top. So that is called, let me check again what it's called. Ultra Fine Writer Tip. So when I saw it, when I saw the name of it, I thought it was like a paint marker or a paint pen. So that's cool that it's uh, something you put on paint. Okay. Then I got two more items to show y'all that I'm really, really excited about. Let me put all this paint because I'm going to drop some stuff. Hold on, y'all. Yeah. Okay. So, hold on. Let me. This is like the grand finale. So, these last two items are the reason I opened a box early. And, unfortunately, did not wait to open it completely in front of y'all. But I promise you it's worth it. So, I've been working on getting prepared for a, basically, craft fair. And one of the things I've been painting is some ceramic Christmas items. Hold on, let me stop because I don't want it. Y'all probably can't hear me well. Moving stuff. Hold on. Okay. Okay. So then, let me show y'all what else they sent me. I'm gonna try that. Okay, I'm just gonna sit right. Okay. Um. Okay. So the first thing is snow text. All right, snow text. So I've been hearing a lot about this. Basically, it's like fake snow. So the description, let's see if there's a description. Add the look and dimension of snow to holiday craft projects. It can be tinted with deco art, deco art acrylic paint while wet or paint it when dry. And so basically, let's see if I can get this to show up on camera. You just scoop this stuff out with like a brush or like a, a stick or something. I got it all in my hand. But let me show y'all. So it's just this chunky stuff in a jar, right? Okay. And it's made to look like fake snow. And so you scoop it out. And let me show y'all what I did. I said, I got to get organized. I'm sorry. I didn't think this through. 
before I went live today, y'all. Thank you for your patience. Okay. Um, so you scoop that out. And so this is something I've been working on. And it's a ceramic gnome. Let's make sure I don't drop this. So this <laughs> ceramic gnome, I just finished painting. I got my little name on there. But basically, that's what all this white stuff is. So let me see if I can get it nice and close. Okay. So this white stuff up close is the snow text. It's fake snow. If you touch it, it's hard. So it took like, it didn't take that long to dry. But I did let it dry overnight before I did anything else with it. So that's what I was super excited to open this box for was this snow text. So basically snow texture. And it's great for fake snow. And uh, what else did I do? And the last item they sent me is triple thick, brilliant brush on gloss glaze. So this is what I used after. Oh, my camera got some nice focus. This is what I used after I paint it. And it makes it look super, super shiny. So that's why this got that nice shine. Like it looks like a ceramic item that has been glazed and fired in a kiln. But it was not because I do not have a kiln. Um, and just for context, let me show y'all what this kind of looked like before I started. So this thing was completely white at first. So here's another thing that I have that I haven't painted yet, but ceramic item, you hear it, sounds like glass, it's ceramic. Basically it's clay that's been fired in a kiln. So I did not make this by hand. This is from a company, but I'm having fun painting them. But basically this is what this gnome looked like at, at first. So it was just plain white and I just got super creative i worked on it for a couple of days and i had a whole lot of fun with this so afterwards it turned out like this and so i'm gonna try to get close show y'all some details so that nice shine is from the triple thick gloss glaze i missed a couple spots i'm gonna go over it again this is what the back looks like i'm gonna try not to drop this it is very fragile and that is that so yeah i just painted it and put on the snow text i have glued in the lights that came with it so these are all glued in little plastic lights and next i'm planning on putting like a little tea light inside so that they do light up um there's a bulb that came with it but the bulb is kind of you know it's in and out so i'm just using tea light and then this part comes out so this is like a little plastic star so i may glue this one i didn't glue it um i had it out because it doesn't fit on my shelf with the star in but this is something that i'm going to be selling at the maker's market this weekend in evanston so i'm super super excited my first time doing something like this i have painted ceramics before with acrylics my first year teaching it uh just because with the intro class we did a lot of painting instead of glazing but yeah i've never used that snow text i've never used that triple gloss glaze so i'm excited to do that um, so yeah, this is the stuff I got from Deco Art. I'm excited to try it out. Let me know in the comments if there's one that you're excited to see, like which one was your favorite item. So I've got some neon paint, some black light paint, some metallics, some glitters. I've got this cool little uh topper for paints to basically make it like a pen. So I'm excited to use that too um so yeah the snow text and the triple thick gloss glaze were definitely my two that i was super thirsty to use and so now i think the next item i'm excited to use is probably gonna be it may be the metallic paint it might be because i don't use metallics that often it's really pretty christmas metallic color so i think i'm really excited to use that and also this thing I'm definitely going to be using for dots or just lines. Um, I use paint markers a lot, but like this right here, I'm definitely using for some dots. Um, so I've got some sled paint parties coming up with like snow and stuff. I'm excited to use dots for that. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I showed y'all what I wanted to show. Oh, wait. Something else I do want to show while I'm here for Deco Art is so since the Maker's Market craft fair is this weekend, a couple other things I'm going to be showing y'all. If you are my, on my email subscriber list, um, you will be getting an email from me that has like a lot of pictures of what I'll be doing. But I just finished these two last night using the Deco Art paints. And it's some pumpkins. Where did the other one just go? Okay. So yeah, these two little pumpkins 
So that's something else I'm going to have. Oh, actually, this one I did before. Made a little grateful pumpkin. And then my fiance was like, oh, it's not as realistic looking as your usual stuff, but it is good. So I was like, okay, let me get a little more detail. So that's what I did with this one. And I got another one. It might be right here. Yeah, this is the one. So I did another one last night, too. My little pumpkins. This one kind of looks like an onion, like a red onion to me. But I'm trying to decide if I'm going to put something on there or not, like a word. Like this one's got grateful. I think I might put like blessed, thankful, something. And so that's all I'm showing for now. That's going to be at the Maker's Market. But if you are on my email list, you'll see more pictures of what I've been doing and what's going to be at the craft fair. So it is this Saturday, October 2nd in Evanston, Illinois. If you click the link in my bio, I've got um, the thing where you get a, a ticket, which is like a suggested donation. I think it's like $5. And then anybody 18 and under is free. Um but it's like a whole vendor set up. So it's like an outdoor shopping experience. And you can just go to everybody's table, see what people got. So my plan is to bring stuff for like fall, you know, fall and uh, winter, Christmas time, all of that good stuff. So that is it for now. I got a bunch of stuff I need to go get caught up on. But I wanted to make sure I showed you all of this because I'm super excited. So thanks for joining me. And I will see y'all next time. And again, let me know in the comments what is your favorite item I showed today or what's something you're excited to see me use? And then maybe that'll be my next video. All right. So thank you all so much. And I will see you next time.